Hello guys and girls, welcome back to Ads Coy. Um, another quick one for you. It's just um, because of the weather. Um, I don't want to jump on the bandwagon, but um, I think we should all take a few precautions. You know, we're being 40 degrees. Um, well, it's 40 degrees in this conservatory right now. Let me, let me tell you that. It's, oh, it's like, I think it's low 30s outside, but um, yeah. Also, I wanted to pick out the competition winner today. I mean, you won't get the prize until probably uh, not next week, the week after, because the part's coming next week. So um, it's playing on my mind. Let's just get a winner picked. So then, I, you know, as soon as that part comes, I can get it straight out to you. So, um, yeah, that's the plan. Um, just having a nice rum and coke. Um, been to the gym with a wife this morning. Lovely air con, Jim. Loved it. Um, um, Luke Hoy talks out. Look at that for a hit, Surya. Shinoda. Can't be it. Yeah, so the plan is today, what I want to do is um, fit a, um, sorry, not fit, run another uh, air pump into the pond. Uh, this is the one from the fry tank, if you follow my channel. So I whack that in there, put a couple of air stands on it. Because um, I want it, whilst I'm at work tomorrow, it's going to be boiling. So I'm going to set it all up tonight. And then um, also, look behind me I see some tarp so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna um somehow it should be a barrel of laughs because I mean the missus probably put it up and it's just we'll end up arguing so uh <laughs> so uh yeah hopefully I'll get it on the tree somewhere maybe on the fence just I don't care what it looks like because I mean the pond not even been cladded yet so it's not like it's gonna make it look unpretty you know what I mean but um yeah so that's the plan today and um yeah, we pick that um, pick the winner at the end. We do a wheel of death, but we'll actually get it right this time. And then, um, yeah, it should be. Uh, there's a lot of names, so it might take a while. But um, you know, as to the suspense, isn't it? Um, yeah. So just make sure you um, lots of air, air Monday, Tuesday, especially. And um, yeah, just keep an eye on your fish, and I'll uh, I'll catch you later. Cheers. All right, guys. Tell you what. <coughs> Now they say, buy cheap, buy twice. This superfish air pump, <laughs> it's rubbish. <laughs> I like the fact it comes in a box. Well, it needs to come in a box, otherwise you just have a nosebleed all the time. It's so loud. But if you look at the... And that's like max power. I mean, it's something, yeah, but... I mean, because my pond's are like five foot deep, you can't even see the bubbles coming out. If I was at, Drop that to the bottom now. Up. Just about soon. Yeah. Just about soon, a couple of bubbles coming up there. Oh, that's better than nothing, I suppose. Can't see the reflection of it. I have to do um, because I must put this box I might see if I can stick it down there somewhere and then uh, I'll shut this lid down but um, anyway um, the only other thing I've done is um, to quiet this down a quiet the back of shower down a bit uh, shorten the pipes and um, just put duct tape at the bottom to make sure the fish don't knock the reds on them but, um, right let's try and get this tarp up then cheers Right, this is what we've come up with. <laughs> It'll do for two days, won't it? Um, so these are the posts I've got for when I eventually put the pergola up. Um, I've got to tell you, I've had an epiphany. The pergola is going to look good. Don't you think? I'm not look at that. Um, fish have absolutely shit themselves. Then don't know what's going on. Look, all at the bottom.
Um, but yeah, that'll do. Anyway, um, so yeah, let's do the draw. And uh, that'll obviously come down in a couple of days. So yeah, I've got a couple of screws in there with the post and that. And um, yeah, it should protect it for a couple of days. Um, like I say, I've got, the, got the, the other air pump on. Got that on, that's plenty. Also, the moving bed, you know, the, the air coming through that water as well. Then you've got the shower. So there should be plenty of air in there. And um, yeah, well, good luck on the draw. And um, yeah, see you soon. Maybe we're just coming out for drinks and he's brought a fishing rod with him. <laughs> so hello, Rick. Got any worms in here, mate? <laughs> They probably would, at all. They probably would. Oh, they're always angry, then. All right, guys, there's 62 entries, so I'm not going to speak. I'm literally just going to keep pressing go, go, go. So last one standing wins the prize. So I'm just over a bit. And, um, yeah, good luck. Let's go. It's going to take a while, but it's the fairest way of doing it. <laughs> Leon's gone first. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Unbelievable, eh? This is long. I'll have to come up with another idea. <laughs> oh dear. At least you know it's not fixed. Now why I'm going through that again.
10 minute competition. Oh. I've opened it up with a grey, I won't be doing this again. <clears throat> Guys, getting tense now.
20 left. Oh, 20 minutes left, probably. Blimey. I hope you're enjoying it guys because I've never been so bored in my life. Yeah, it's getting tense now though, come on. 15. Who's gonna win? Who's gonna win? Right, ten left. Good luck. Candy. Oh, there's another YouTuber, Bart's the best. Lucky mate. We've got four, we've got four. Come on, who wants it? Remember, it's the last man standing, so three left. Right, next one out doesn't win, so good luck, everyone. That's it. So the winner is Susan Goodall, which is Vince's better half. <laughs> uh, well, well done, Susan. So um, obviously just send me over your address and um, we, there's going to be a slight delay because obviously I'm getting the um, spare part. But um, yeah, well done, mate. I'll speak to you later.